Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining on time. This is the seventh session for German B1 out of 24 complimentary sessions. Uh, we have four topics to cover. I mean, the uh, yeah, okay, one, two, three, five. It's four and not five. The first topic will just do a quick revision of uh, what we learned last time. That is how to use uh, infinitive with uh, su, if you remember that. And then from that, we will build on to a new concept where you will learn to use a uh, Brauchen. Someone already pointed this out, like in one of the previous sessions, I asked you to use Mucin, but someone said, no, you can use uh, Brauchen as well. And that person was right. Today we will learn what that person was talking about. Then we will try to learn how to say things like, you know, either this or that, not only this, but also that. Either this, so this as well as that, neither this nor that although this but that you know on the one hand on the other hand so these things now that you are in b1 you know how to frame simple sentences you know how to frame complex sentences now you will just learn so you also have learned conjunctions like und oder aber sondern and so on we looked at them last time now you will learn conjunctions where you will use a pair of conjunctions you will not just use one conjunction but you will learn to use two conjunctions at the same time and then we will try to learn about adjectives. Uh, what we will learn about adjectives is that uh, whenever, so let's say if I am using a noun, right? And if I also use an adjective associated with the noun, for if I say, uh, uh, you know, uh, for example, if I say Dusseldorf is a city, right? But if I want to say Dusseldorf is a very beautiful city, right? So I'm using the word beautiful. Beautiful is an adjective which is being used with the city. In German, when you use an adjective, because it's German, the ending of the adjective will change. We'll talk about this as we uh, when we reach there. And then, of course, if we have time, we'll try to correct your homework and we'll also try to learn some vocabulary. Please ask any questions. No need to wait till the end. Interrupt as often as you can, as much as you want to. Disclaimer, guys, if you're preparing for an exam, please do not depend entirely on these sessions. You have to do a lot of homework on your own if you're preparing for exam. Okay, uh, anyone feels like helping me? Uh, so you have these three sentences, you know, on the slide, which you can see, I hope. Uh, you learned last time how to say these things in German with the help of this uh, zu, you know, this word zu. So uh, anyone wants to help us in saying these things in German? Yes, yeah, Suresh, you can try. Yeah. I work to earn money. Um, ich arbeite uh, uh, das Geld zu verdienen. Okay, continue. Next sentence. And I can work without having to use Google. Um, okay, ich kann uh, ohne Google um, when I Google to happen, happen to our Biden. Okay, but you sent. I mean, so now that you have figured this out in your head, say it one more time, and this time correctly. Yeah. Um. Ich kann ohne Google, uh, our Biden. No, so you are. Haben. So you have. So so for example, in this sentence, I work to earn money. To earn money was the extra part, right? So, yeah. and here in this sentence, what is the extra part? To use Google. Without, yeah, so without having to right. use Google, right? So the main yeah. part is I can work. So you have to say ich kann arbeiten and then whatever the extra part is, right? Uh, okay. Uh, but uh, when we use can, uh, then uh, the main verb should go to end, right? Yeah, but end like or like if it's just one sentence, then before the full stop. But if there are two sentences, then it's before the comma, right? Mm, okay, okay. It's at the end of the sentence, not at the end of the complex sentence. Yeah. So one okay. more time. Uh, ich kann arbeiten uh, ohne uh, Google zu benutzen. Correct, right? Oh. Benutzen, verwenden, nutzen, so on. Next sentence. I wanted to work to train station instead of taking the tram. I wanted to walk, sorry. 
okay i want to walk to the train station instead of taking the tram okay uh, is most uh, talk train station spacieron uh one uh, tram so name and okay think you know so what you said if you say that i will know what you are trying to say even though you know let's say if let's say i'm i'm a german i have no idea of english i don't know where you come from but if you say that i will know you know what you are trying to say but i will also know that you know your german is not good you know you are a foreigner so think one more time take 10 seconds now there is see if you can improve your sentence okay anyone wants to help you know like so uh, can you say that sentence one more time uh, suresh what you said the third sentence yeah so just what you said no need to think just tell me what you said before yeah it's most on our train station spacieron uh one uh the tram name and so name and okay i think rishab wants to help yeah rishab you can uh, help us in improving uh, suresh sir <coughs> uh, ich will zum bahnhof spazieren an start uh, station bahn zu nehmen okay rishab even so it's even a little bit better but there's still one mistake anyone wants to correct the mistake d station bahn zu nehmen no that's fine no you you walk you no you are walking right you you know, i mean i'm not saying that you will take the train you know it's maybe it's like i don't know how do you say it's almost let's say okay it's 7 pm in germany and you feel like having dinner and you just want to go to that place which is just in front of the train station right so it does not mean you'll take the train you are just walking in that direction laufen yeah laufen is laufen? much more right right but, but but what is the difference between spazieren and laufen anyone Uh, spazieren is like a stroll like you do after dinner like just for uh, uh, like a, taking a walk for uh, relaxation yeah you know so whenever you use spazieren spazieren is like you know your spazieren is like you know just you're just walking there is you know it's something like walking in a garden walking is something else you know spazier uh, if you i mean i you know we can fight about it what is spazieren what is laufen but spazieren is just like you know walking very slowly walking leisurely when you are walking walking is something else yeah so uh so yes uh, uh rishab now that you know that spazieren is not correct laufen is correct please say the sentence one more time ich will zum bahnhof uh, laufen anstatt die straßenbahn zu nehmen Okay, so uh, Suresh said uh, "nak banov" in the beginning, right? Okay, later he corrected, and you are saying "som." If you are saying "som," why not "nak" and why "zu"? So, so "nak" "nak" will be like just tell me, you know. Like I'm know. going, I'm going inside the train station, right? So it will be "zu dem." No. So No, that's also not right. That will be in. So zu will be, is, but anyone else like difference between nak and zu? Anyone nak and zu? Nak is uh, nak. Oh, sorry. Yeah, nak is used for a uh, long distance, and zu is for the short distance. Yes, exactly. So nak is like you know if you are going from one state to another, from one city, okay, not city exactly, you know, and this is. you know don't think that only you are doing this mistakes i was watching a documentary where you know where they were showing this uh, this girl she i mean her parents were immigrants they came from some other country to here and now she is becoming a doctor and then you know like they go and it, it's a, it's a documentary and then you know the reporters go and talk to her friends you know how she was like in school you know was she always this bright and then her friends are saying that yeah, yeah she always corrected our grammar so we used to say we are gehen nach aldi and she said no we are gehen nicht nach aldi we are gehen in aldi or zu aldi so don't think on the you do this mistakes even other others also do this mistake okay now that you have uh, yeah i think we have the answers but let's see if anyone wants to read them uh, you know anyone who feels that uh, all you have to do is just read the german sentences now maybe no one 
Swati, you want to read? Yeah. Hello? Yes, yeah, Swati, please read the sentences, the German ones. Uh, yes, to Ich arbeite um Geld zu verdienen. I can work without having to use Google. Ich can arbeiten ohne Google. Verwenden zu müssen. Okay. Read this ich word will, again. Wait, stop. Read this word again. Ich kann. Yeah, kann, right? You said can. Ich kann. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ich will zum Bahnhof laufen. Anstatt die Straßenbahn zu nehmen. Yeah, not it's zu, you know, it's it's not, uh, it takes some time, it's not j, it's also not s, it's somewhere, it's zu, yeah, it, it takes some time, okay, uh, okay. just to correct, yeah, you can, thank you, uh, you. yes, yeah, Suresh, you have a question? Yeah, so I would like to check the second sentence, um, uh, can is modal verb and uh, the ending verb also, we could use modal verb. Yeah, so here it's it's not, yeah, you can use modal verb because, uh, yeah, so so for example, uh, these are two different sentences, you know, so ich kann arbeiten, okay, and then ohne Google verwenden zu müssen, that is the thing, right, so the second, the af after this, so normally, you know, so far you learned that when you use su, there is only one verb, right, but there can be two sentences, right, for example, I can work without using Google. Ich kann arbeiten ohne Google zu verwenden. Right? That's fine. Mm -hmm. But you are saying without having to use. So you also have to specify having to, right? Does it, do I make sense or am I confusing you? So the second one too has two, sent two verbs, having to and use. So when you have a scenario like this, the of course, when you have two verbs in a sentence, it's obvious that one will be a modal verb most of the times. And then after two, you have the modal verb. Does it make sense or did I confuse you? Um, so I think without comma, then we can consider this as two or different sentences. So no, it's no, no. I mean, you can't put a comma again, but these are two. I mean, it's actually one sentence, but I mean, you know, don't take that literally that when I say this Biden, also it will sound very, you know, not so good if I just say Ish Khan, Ona Google, Fevenden, Sumusen. Arbeiten. You can say it. There is no problem, you know, but you will have to say it like that. Ich kann ohne Google verwenden zu müssen. Arbeiten. Right? You can also say it like that. But here a comma is necessary. If I mean, if I have to be 100% sure, I will write a comma over here after Arbeiten. Did I answer your question? Please ask if I confused you more. Yeah, it's it's fine. So I had only doubt about uh, modal verbs can use in one sentence two modal verbs. So that was my main question. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So okay. when we treat this as a two uh, different sentences, then I think it might. Okay. Fine. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, there should be a comma. Yeah. Yeah. More questions? Yeah, Arvin, please ask. Uh, Rohit, uh, like uh, instead of Fervenden, can we use like Nutsen or Benutsen? Yeah, you can use like Nutsen, you can use Benutsen. What else you can use? Uh, okay. Yeah, there can be many uh, things you can use. Thing yeah. and second thing, like next sentence. I'm, think, I'm, I'm thinking like I'm jumping the gun, but... No problem. Stram is also Strassenbahn. Strassenbahn is also S-Bahn, right? Uh, no, no, no. That is uh, that is Startbahn. <laughs> Uh, S-Bahn, yeah, yeah. You, you know, like my mother asked me this question, like, you know, like this also, this is also S, that's also S, then I have yeah. to figure this out. So that thing that you see like S-Bahn, if I'm not wrong, you know, if I did not, if I, if I Google correctly at that time, uh, S-Bahn means uh, Startbahn, like the one which goes okay, from one city to another. Strassenbahn, yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, most welcome. Yeah, just think, you know, this, uh, let me, because we are, again, this is like so far we did not learn anything new. This is all revision from last session. So ich arbeit um Geld zu verdienen. So you know I work to earn money. You have subject, you have verb, you have conjugated the verb as per the given subject. When after zu, whatever you have, whatever verb you, have, you need to conjugate it. One second, Rohit. Um, is it that uh, the first session of this? Because I missed that. Uh, just no, this is, this is like revision from last session. 
last to last session right no, i mean yeah, i mean like uh, yeah, uh, yeah okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. i mean like last uh, like thursday yeah. Uh, yeah yeah okay so uh okay and this one like you know subject verb object sorry subject verb verb the second position you have the verb which is being conjugated near it happens to be modal verb and the other verb we don't need to conjugate it is in its infinitive form or the normal form uh in this sentence ich will zum bahnhof laufen anstatt it is obvious you know like after zu whatever you have infinity form wollen is the modal verb wollen for ich conjugated is with and the other verb will be in its infinity form because you are using a modal verb okay there is a difference you know like you, you'll say this is also infinity this is also infinity but the re reason is different here it is infinity because you are using a modal verb and when you have a modal verb in a sentence the other verb you need not conjugate you don't have to you okay you cannot but here it is infinity because it's after zu okay this is infinity with zu uh if there are any questions please ask okay uh, yeah but these are two different sentences so the part of that uh, which one used to you put a comma here yeah i mean and, i was not uh, in arabic and this best if you put a comma if it's best if you put a comma Mm -hmm. Here is the. I am just asking because the one part has is can R by ten. I am just asking because you have an R by ten which is an infinitive verb that comes after the main verb. So, just to understand, is there is any rule for this structure? No, it seems like I can work, right? So, if you say want to say I can work, you say is can R by ten, right? Then you want to say okay. more without having to use Google. Then okay. you say own a Google for when and some use. Right here, you say I want to walk to the train station. Then you say Ich will zum Bahnhof laufen. Then you want to provide more information instead of taking the tram. And start the station Bahn zu nehmen. I will request you to go through the recordings of the last session. It makes it much more clear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, uh, Arvin. So you know, let's try to learn something new today. how will i say these things you know you don't need to work you don't need to work to earn money you just have to start okay how do i say this arvind if you are there do you mind okay yeah, yeah. i am here uh, you don't need to work uh, do uh, or do abhi respectively bolenge see um, see um, brauchen nicht see uh, see brauchen uh so arbeiten nicht okay you know let's be smart about this right instead of if i you know you instead of you don't need to work i can also say right you must not work ah uh, you must right? not work. yeah so yeah. if i say you see, must see, not see, work see, yeah nicht arbeiten yeah so you can say that but if you really want to say you don't need to work like this you have to specify this need right then we will have to say the way you are saying it can you repeat please uh yeah see brauchen uh, so arbeiten nicht yeah okay and what about the next one you don't need to work to earn money okay uh, see yeah the first way which you have said like sie müssen uh, nicht arbeiten uh, geld so verdienen okay but i have to say uh, yeah that's right but if i want to use the the verb brauchen how will yeah, i say brauchen then uh, Uh, yeah, see, brauchen. Uh, yeah, see, brauchen. Uh, nicht zu arbeiten. Geld. Oh, uh, can I use to zu in a sentence? Yeah, yeah, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, yeah, see, müssen uh, uh, nicht arbeiten. Nicht zu arbeiten. Uh, das Geld zu verdienen. If you use müssen, right? Then you don't have to say to, right? If you say müssen, then you're effectively saying you must not work. Right. Yeah. And you must yeah. not. And you can just say Sie müssen nicht arbeiten. But I have to use brauchen. So you will have to say Sie brauchen nicht zu arbeiten, and then to earn money. Yeah. Gel get das Gel zu verdienen. Uh, yeah. You don't have to say das right because yeah. Ah uh, uh, yeah. Say, okay. Right. Yeah. But you also have to say um right because you are providing a reason. So when you don't need to work, why you don't need to work? If you are answering that question, you will have to say um. Oh. We discuss this. Actually, I, I always think um will be using whenever it is in order, like 
in order in a center but here it is hidden you can yeah. you i mean that is one way to think about it always think sie brauchen nicht arbeiten then but what are you like are you asking like for what do you know you don't need to work or why you don't need to work so which question are you answering what or why yeah yeah got it got it yeah but but which question are you answering why or what uh here we are answering uh why why right so if you want to say why it's own. think this way in order to is also fine but if you really want to like you know grab the problem by its neck it's when it's why om otherwise most of the times not om next one please arvind as well if you want to try you just have to start uh, uh see uh see musen anfangen <laughs> okay but with brauchen ah yeah see brauchen uh start just actually just is as genauso so anfangen genauso why genauso just uh, like you just have to start oh, okay no 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 he, no no yeah no again that will be something else yeah so okay instead of have if i have written you need to start i you need to start so okay see um, brauchen um i i i i don't have for word just uh, so anfangen actually i i i can say about so anfangen no but, if you uh, say zu anfangen no i we discussed this last time right so whenever you when when you the, the verb is separable you put zu in between the verb and the prefix yeah, yeah, correct, correct, so, correct. Yeah, yeah then it is the sentence zu fangen anzufangen right there were few mistakes yeah. let's look at them do you mind sir when reading them all one more yeah, time yeah. just the german ones uh, you, you don't need to work is du brauchst nicht zu arbeiten yeah it's like simple okay then you don't need to work to earn money is du brauchst nicht zu arbeiten um geld zu verdienen you just have to start du brauchst nur ah uh, nur yeah nur nur and so fun yeah so yes, you can I, say no maybe i don't know where you are staying but like normally you don't whenever a word is ending with er or ar you don't specify you don't emphasize it. you just say a uh. so instead of saying nur you just say noa Makes sense. So you say no, oh, yeah, yeah. no, say no. Yeah. Let's look at the grammar. And this is what you have to learn today. I mean, it's you know, guys, there's not much to learn. It's obvious to you. So when you don't need to work, of course, you know, if you if you don't want to make mistakes, just replace like you know, don't need to work. You must not work. Then zimus nicht arbeiten or du musst nicht arbeiten. But if you want to say it exactly the way it is, du brauchst nicht to work zu arbeiten. You don't need to work. Du brauchst nicht zu arbeiten. and then provide more information um gel so fed in right so here see how the uh, you know like now don't get confused like you know there are three sentences right now so you don't you are you are using like three verbs you know brauchen arbeiten verdienen right so don't this is you know like this is right now b1 and you will after this you will go to b2 so now you have to start saying little bit sophisticated sentences right so you don't need to brauchs nicht to work zu arbeiten to earn money um geld zu verdienen right if i just replace money like if i don't have money over here i will say you know if i have just have to say you don't need to work to earn du brauchst nicht zu arbeiten um zu verdienen okay please understand okay homework for you you know replace work and replace money and see you know like add more nouns over here you know more combinations and see what comes over here right for example you know you don't need to go to gym to lose weight right how will i say anyone you don't need to go to gym to lose weight anyone this is again shall i try yeah go ahead go ahead yeah uh, you don't uh, like uh, du brauchst nicht zu uh, gehen uh, what gain where uh, like yeah f- fitness studio yeah uh, du brauchst nicht zu fit- uh, fitness studio zu gehen uh, um uh, wiegt zu nehmen yeah so there are few corrections i mean i i will know what you are trying to say but there are few corrections i think yeah puja you can try yeah uh 
du brauchst nicht so Fitnessstudio gehen, um äh, ab, abnehmen, um so abnehmen. Ja. Yeah. Um abzunehmen. So whenever you have a separable verb, the zu will be in between the prefix and the verb. Um abzunehmen, right? So uh, yeah. the word that. So, but like, again, you are saying zum, right? So okay, you should know this. But if you don't know, let's clear this once and forever. Whenever you talk about, you know, like going somewhere, so there is zu, there is nach, there is in. Nach use only when you are talking about far away places. You know, going to a different state, going to a different country, something like that. In, you will be inside that place. So you are going in that direction. You know, let's say if I'm your if I'm your neighbor, and after the session, I I open my door and I see that you are going somewhere. Of course, I mean, I will not like ask you know where you are going, but let's say, but let's say I'm very I'm nosy. You know, I will say, you know where are you going? You know, and if you say ich gehe zum Fitness Studio, in my head. You will go in that direction, but I will never find you inside the fitness studio. I will not find you inside the gym because "so" literally means you are walking in that direction. Okay. If you say "na," it I mean I will know that your grammar is not correct, but it it does not mean that you will be inside, right? So that is the difference between. But if you want, you will be inside that place, and you say "in." You know, for example, "ich gehe zum Supermarkt." This means you are walking in that direction. You know, maybe there is some shop nearby supermarket, and you are going there. But you know, you are going in that direction. But if you say "ich gehe in den Supermarkt," this will mean that you know you will be inside the supermarket. Please understand when you use "su," it is dative. When you use "in," it is accusative. Just accept it, okay? When you use "su," it's dative. When you use "in," it's accusative. When you are talking about you know going somewhere or coming somewhere. Okay, so so was not correct. So you have to say in right. So you said, "Ich gehe zum Fitness Studio." So let's correct this. So instead of "zum," we will have to use "in." And I just told you that you know, like Fitness Studio, there the das. I think it's das if I'm not wrong. And uh, it's das. So "Ich gehe in das Fitness." And I said after "in," it will be accusative, and das remains das as well in accusative also. So it's gear in the fitness studio. If you have been living in Germany for some time, you know you can just you know combine it like this. Instead of saying in das, you say ins. So it's gear in fitness studio. Um abzunehmen. Yeah. Uh, if you say abzunehmen, people will know it means to lose weight. Yeah. Uh, what is just just out of curiosity? Anyone knows the word for weight? Noun for weight. Weight. No, that is the that is the uh, verb. Yeah, vegan. Yeah. Anyone goes to gym? Like, there also you have weight. Uh, gewicht. Gewicht. Yeah. So, gewicht, gewicht means yeah. weight. Gewicht also means like you know when you go to gym, there are things that you find like you build your body. That's also gewicht. You should know these things. This is V one. If you don't know, start learning. Yeah. The Last verb, du brauchst nur anzufangen. You know, it's you just have to start. You know, again, I'm just trying. Let you know. So you know how to say you just have to start. You know you can just say du musst anfangen. That's all you have to say. But now you also know how to use you know brauchen in this context. Okay, du brauchst nur anzufangen. Uh, any questions? Okay. Uh, you know you have like around six sentences in front of not but okay. Let's go back homework, guys. Now you learn something, okay? If you don't use, you will forget, okay? So please start using it. And how can you use? You know, either you can wait for that opportunity where someone says something and you can reply using, you know, this this. Uh, you can speak a sentence where you can apply this knowledge, or today or tomorrow you can sit down and think of some sentences, not imaginary sentences that you may end up saying. You know, this is how you build. Before you speak, you write. Right before you listen, you read. That's how German language learning works, or any language learning works. So sit down and write some sentences where you think you may end up saying, like "Du brauchst nicht so blah blah," something like that. Yes, anyone. So you know, so far you have learned conjunctions, right? So, but you have learned, you know, how to use them just one at a time. You know, so you know, und oder aber, sondern, obwohl, weil, and so on, right? But 
now you will learn how to use two conjunctions at the same time okay nothing new you know most of them if this is just something that you already know i mean you should know but i'm just introducing it to them you know so anyone maybe wants to tell me how do i say you know either this or that you can replace this that with blah blah anyone it's fine if you do mistakes sonder so uh, you have either. to start from the beginning either this or that in the waiter order in the waiter order next one you should you can continue no problem mm, no idea next one okay next one next one next one no one nicht nicht nur sondern auch yeah nicht nur sondern auch yeah that's correct you know neither you know not only but also what about one, one. yeah eine seite andere seite yeah eine seite andere seite yes correct on the one hand on the other hand although but come on you know how to say no. although obwohl yeah so all or no so all will be like somewhere else although like you know obwohl bla bla aba bla bla so only so all will be here so all also so uh anyone feels like reading the german ones many of you thinking like you know it's too easy why should i read you never know you know tomorrow you have to use them. yeah when you can read yeah either blah 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 or uh, other one is entweder blah blah or order blah blah uh, nicht nur uh, und sondern auch sowohl als auch als auch wieder noch <coughs> also blah blah is zwar zwar aber blah 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 on one hand of blah blah is Einer sides, blah blah. Another sides, blah blah. Yeah. So I said obwohl. You can also say obwohl, but let's learn something new. Swar, aber. Okay. Swar. And you know, like here. So this blah blah, it can be a sentence or it can be just a word. You know, sometimes. Uh, uh, how do I say? Like tea or coffee. Yeah, something like that. I know tea, tea or coffee, right? So I'll say you know not only you know or some you know, yeah. so this happens with me you know like sometimes i go to this uh, this donor places and they say like you know do you want this sauce or that sauce i say not only this but also that one as well put all the sauces you can <laughs> and uh, yeah so and what, what what i want to say is that you know like it can be just a word or it can also be an entire sentence okay so sentence structure may change it depends on whether you put a sentence or just a word if it's just a word i mean what do you care about structure because it's just one word but if it's a sentence sentence structure may change now what do i mean by sentence structure so whenever i say or whenever someone says there is only one thing in sentence structure right where does the verb go if you know where the verb goes that's all there is you know sentence structure so it will change how will it, it will change it's also not that difficult to remember if you follow some basic logic so for entweder oder nicht nur sondern auch zwar aber the sentence structure does not change and there is no Law, you know like if you know you know you know for order the sentence structure does not change you know for zondern the sentence structure does not change you know for aber on their own the sentence structure does not change and you can apply the same logic right you know what i'm saying you know are do so like you know aber den und zondern order for these conjunctions on their own the sentence structure does not change and when you are using them like you know as the zweitaliger connectron then also the sentence structure does not change this logic you can use to learn for the other ones you know so all also auch einerseits andererseits weder noch okay neither nor is weder noch uh here the sentence structure changes all that happens is that you know like uh you switch places of the subject and the conjugated verb okay i'm saying conjugated verb so normally you have subject conjugated verb and whatever else you want to have but when you are for these ones the conjugated verb is just after the connector okay now 
what is important okay for example other things but what is important from my point of view that you remember that there are you know now you can use this double connectors at the same time don't worry about the grammar on all okay i mean you know like i have shown you six you know if you don't change the sentence structure you will be right 50% of the time by default you know so don't worry about the grammar if you are preparing for an exam please worry about the grammar <laughs> otherwise no one cares i mean i don't care so uh yes uh arvin you can start please tell us how do i say these things in german uh, <clears throat> either you go to cinema or you stay at home uh entweder um how to say entweder um uh, yeah you can replace cinema with whatever place you like to go yeah uh, and uh, it should always start with uh, entweder i mean th that's how you of course right how, how, i mean where else will you use it like for example you can go either to cinema or yeah, you can also say that it's you can say that yeah 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 actually like i was uh, confused in that so okay uh, now i will go with this uh, sentence structure itself so yeah entweder uh, uh, guess to entweder guess to uh, sur cinema sur kino uh, cinema uh, film film uh, order uh, blibs do su house blibs do su house yeah so again you know like even though i'm saying like you go to the cinema but i literally mean that you know like in english we don't say right we are going inside the cinema right if i say i'm yeah, going to right. pool so it it's in you have to use in and if you use yeah. in after in it will be akkusative and cinema the common word for cinema in germany is yeah. kino yeah. and kino is das yeah. kino yeah actually uh, cinema means actually kino literally translate to cinema theater right yeah yeah that's like, where you're going right yeah okay okay yeah. again you know like i don't think you need this sentence but i'm just like telling you yeah yeah uh, clarification correct yeah, yeah. how uh, do you say stay at home blibs to house order do blibs su house su house yeah, blibs yeah su house blibs yeah there are some few mistakes we'll correct them let's continue continue our next sentence uh, uh, we can either order pizza or uh, cook pasta so we are kenan uh, 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 entweder uh, pizza bestellen order uh, pasta kochen very good very good this is really good continue either you come on time or you will miss the train entweder uh, comes do uh, rest sites order do uh, fair past das der su so uh, do uh, entweder uh, it's fine that's fine no need to worry about the grammar so much continue yeah okay we can either have coffee at the cafe or we can go for a walk uh, here we can use pasiran <laughs> we can an entweder uh, coffee in cafe uh, haben order we can an pasiran gain yeah you know in english we say like you know have something have this have that in german you don't say ich habe ein kaffee you just say you know you say whether you're drinking it or eating it okay yeah yeah okay so either you study for the exam or you will have difficulties yeah entweder uh, uh, learns do uh, learns do uh, for the proofung order um, do order do uh, you will have uh, Yeah. or you have to, forget forget you'll have you have difficulties uh, order uh, see uh, order do must uh, uh, you will have difficulties here uh, swedish haben yeah swedish haben like yes. i don't know difficulties is a noun right so swedish is an like adjective so difficulty okay. just you know convert swedish to a noun so i'll give you an example you know like you say uh often often is herfish if i want to convert often to a, you know if i want to say oftenness i will just say herfish kite okay, if i okay yeah swedish so, kite exactly swedish kite but it's plural so swedish kite ten swedish kite ten 
yeah sure is right okay yeah so there are and for some reason i think you took my words literally and i said ignore the grammar ignore the grammar completely so and veda do has or do studious few the proof okay uh, everywhere you said like and veda studious to or lands to few the proof okay and veda uh, but the, yeah. uh, like verb will be in the second position right no no for these no so like i saw like you know for example you are using and veda order right So for order, ah yeah, yeah. yes, yes, it will be sentence structure if they correct right, yeah. Yeah, please learn the German ones, read the German ones, and when you read, please don't take so many pauses if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, I I understand. Yeah, entweder gehst du ins Kino oder du bleibst zu Hause. Ah, uh, wir können entweder Pizza bestellen oder Pasta kochen. Entweder du kommst pünktlich oder du verpasst den Zug. Entweder trinken wir Kaffee im Café oder wir gehen spazieren. Entweder lernst du vor die Prüfung oder du wirst Schwierigkeiten haben. You know, werden. So, werden. Werden. Ja. Right? werden. Uh, you know, here I have also not been very correct. You know, I said entweder gehst du. I should say entweder du gehst ins Kino you know, instead of like you know gehst du ins Kino. You know, but it's fine. Start using it. You know, I was right at least. I, you know. If the, I was right eighty percent of the times, and that's fine. Okay, uh, here also I didn't. Know. Okay, just one question. Why? Because uh, the verb should be the second position, right? No, it should be the first position. Like, not sorry, sorry, I forgot. Uh, don't think like this. You know, verb second or first. Think how the normal sentence is: subject, verb, object, and these connectors have no effect on the sentence structure. Okay, so. Either you study for the exam. So how will you say you study for the exam? You will say do learns for the prefer, and you just add entweder. There is no effect on the sentence structure, so it should be entweder. So I just correct it right away. Entweder do learns prefer the prefer, or do we change Kaitan Havan? Does it make sense? I hope I answered your question. Please ask if not. Correct the, you can correct the first sentence also then. Oh uh, yes. Uh, Yeah, Entweder. you are absolutely right. Uh, Entweder. Yeah, but guys, don't worry too much about the grammar. You know, as long as you start using them, it's fine. Okay, anyone wants to help me with help us with Nishnua Zonda now? Can anyone apart from Arvind? Come on, if you try, you learn. Really, I have to point out. Yeah, Pooja, do you mind? Okay. Uh, yeah, Suresh. Yeah, Rohit, I will do it. I'll try for it. Yeah. He speaks not only German but also English. Yeah. Um, er spricht nicht nur um next no uh, dodge um uh, sondern auch english yeah um she is interested not only in art but also in music okay. um is she interested uh next no in kun kunst uh, sondern auch in music there are mistakes but continue a lot of mistakes but continue in the third sentence okay um the concert was not only entertaining but also inspiring okay this concert um, this con- concert was next no um and spanen and sondern auch uh, i don't know what is inspiring even entertaining is not entspannen entertaining is not entspannen is like something which calms you down entertaining is like it just it makes you happy that is something else but continue continue uh, the next sentence yeah okay uh, the movie was not only funny but also heartwarming okay um das film um das film ist nicht nur uh, lustig 
Sondern auch uh, ich weiß nicht uh, Herzwarming yeah, Almost right, continue, next sentence Okay The vacation was not only relaxing but also adventurous Okay Okay mm. uh, the, Here are the answers, please read and we'll discuss them Okay uh, from the beginning? Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay. Let's first nicht nur Deutsch, sondern auch English. So please read um, one more time. Please read one more time. Er spricht nicht nur Deutsch. Yeah, Deutsch. Sondern auch? Sondern auch English. So you are it, you're, you're saying English. It's not English. It's English. There's a difference. It's English. English, okay. Continue. Okay, understood. Um, the interessiert sich nicht nur Kunst, sondern auch für Musik. Das Konzert war nicht nur... Again, you are reading it the English way. It's not con it's, it's Konzert. You're... Konzert, okay. Yeah, das Konzert. Das Konzert war nicht nur Wunder als Alsam, sondern auch ja, inspirierend, inspirierend. Okay. Der Film war nicht nur lustig, sondern auch herzer Griffel, greifend. Don't worry, herzer I don't think I ever use this book, but yeah, that's the correct way to say heart moving. Yeah. Okay. There the oral love war nicht nur entspannend, sondern auch abenteuerlich. Abenteuerlich, right? So, again, uh, if you want me to explain the grammar, I will do, but you know, there is not much over here. He speaks, er spricht, he speaks, okay? She is interested, you know, you know that zish in the Zian few etwas. This is reflexive, well, right? We discussed this in the first session of A2. If not, please ask if you still forgot all that. Then uh, here, this is past tense, so bar. Uh, what I want to say is that, you know, like if, you know, if my teacher was teaching me all these things, these sentences, you know, the first word that I would, that would pop in my head, you know, if I have to describe this exercise, I would use this word, completely irrelevant, you know, this exercise. Why it's irrelevant? Because none of these sentences, okay, maybe the first one, you know, I can, you know, I can say that expression is not Deutsch or not English. You know, I can also say Python on a few SQL. But, you know, others, these sentences, I know, like, I don't think I will say them in real life. But then why do I have them? I don't know what your profession is, you know. So, uh, so you have to, you know, like, don't try to remember these sentences. Exercise, you know, try to tomorrow write some sentences where you are using nicht nur sondern now. You know, you can talk about your, you know, your skills. You know, I can not only do this, but also that. You know, you're talking about your master thesis or project. You know, the project achieved not this, not only this, but also that. Something like that. I offer you, uh, you know, uh, yeah, whatever you want to say. So, uh, yes, zwar uh, aber. Risha, please try. Yeah. He uh, he's tired. Sorry. He's tired though he wants uh, uh, though he wants to work. Er is swar muder aber er will arbeiten. Yes, or swar er is muder aber er will arbeiten. Yeah. The car is expensive but it is very reliable. Uh, das Auto is zwar teuer, aber er ist sehr zuverlässig. She got the job, though she is considering whether to accept it. Sie hat zwar uh, die Job bekommen, Abba Z, you will 
überlegen. Sie überlegt. Sie überlegt, ja. And then yes. whether to accept it, to say that you have to use one more preposition, that is ob. One more conjunction, okay. ob. Ob means, you know, whether. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it. Focus on the next sentence. Yeah. The food is spicy, but it tastes it tastes very good. Uh, das Essen is zwar spicy. I don't know if this, I will say spicy. Aber mm. es schmeckt sehr gut. Continue. The movie is long, but it is really interesting. Uh, the film is zwar long, aber er ist wirklich interessant. Yes. So, you know, some you may say that the car is expensive, but it is very reliable. Why do I need to use so? You know, I can just say that auto is teuer, aber es ist sehr zuverlässig. You don't have to, but you understand, you realize that people will, you know, use swa and aber quite together, at, you know, at the same time. They will, you'll see that. So, please notice when they are using swa and aber together. Okay. Uh, here, you know, yeah, okay, so you can also say it like this, you know, she is considering Zio Belate, she is considering what? To accept it or not, you know, in Ansu Neiman, right? An Neiman is to accept. Any questions? But that is, uh, you said that O. Yeah, so I, didn't, I mean, I would not say it like this, you know, but that is not the focus. But if I really have to say, you know, like, op, Z, then job i will say this okay ob ob means weather yeah weather and when you use ob the conjugated verb will be at the last position make sense yeah right yeah, yeah. please ask if there are any questions otherwise let's move on to zool alsauk did anyone anyone wants to try before i I don't want to point out. I don't even see who all is there in the call. Guys, anyone feels like trying, please go ahead. Yeah, Ruchi, you can. Ruchi, you can talk. Yeah, so this one we are using. Um... Zobon also. Zobon. You know, so, so I can say she speaks German as well as English. So yeah. the restaurant offers both vegetarian and vegan. Oh, sorry, the first one. She speaks both German and English. Uh, see, sie spricht um, sowohl Deutsch und als auch English. The restaurant offers both vegetarian and vegan dishes. Uh, das restaurant uh, offers would be um, I've forgotten of offers. Yes, it's just go for sell, no problem. The restaurant yeah. sells. Yeah. Uh, das restaurant verkauft. Um, Sowohl Vegetarier und als auch uh, vegan Gericht. Ta. He is both Gericht. Plural. Gericht. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. He is both intelligent and creative. Er ist uh, sowohl intelligent als auch kreativ. It's not Gant, it's Gen, intelligent. But continue, yeah. Uh, the movie was both exciting and funny. Thus, uh, thus, uh, uh, the film war so full, so full, uh, ex ausgerecht, aus, ausgerecht, als auch lustig. The book is both interesting and instructive. That book is so called 
interessant und uh, als auch uh, interesting in instructive would be I wouldn't know. Okay, no problem. Uh, please read the sentences, the German ones, and and the call will end. I will the call will end abruptly. So please don't mind. I will post the link in the group and then join the next call. But please read. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she spricht so full Deutsch als auch English. She speaks both English and uh, German and English. Das Restaurant bietet uh, bietet so full vegetarisch als auch vegan gericht an. Vegetarisch the restaurant als auch vegan. Vegan. Uh, veg vegetarisch als auch vegan gericht an. Yes. Er ist sowohl intelligent als auch kreativ. He is both intelligent and creative. Okay. Der Film war sowohl spannend als auch lustig. Das Buch ist sowohl interessant als auch lehrerig. Lehrreich. Lehrreich. Uh, Avin, uh, 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 the call will end. I'll post the link. Please remember okay. your question and we'll answer your question in the next session. Okay, the call will end, guys. I will end it on my own. I'll post the link, join using that one. See you there.